Probably my thighs. Probably your thighs or your booty. You eat my booty? Probably. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Drop outs. All right, Jared, calm down. Sorry. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 31 of Dropouts. Um, guess what happened this week? What's up, B-Words? Welcome back to Dropouts. We have a very entertaining episode. In- <laughs> very. <laughs> very entertaining episode here. Wait, what happened this week? Oh, dude, we don't know. We're freaking hyping Jared, it up, Jared. Jared, we're hyping it up so they'll watch oh. longer, okay? Oh, Act my like God. you know what's going on. Dude, this week was crazy. Dude, you ruined it, Jared. Hit Roll some intro, intro music. music. God, every week. What do you mean every week? We're replacing you. With who? My dad. Okay, I'd like to see Joe do this. I'd like to see Joe show up. I just, oh, sorry. oh my I God. She came with the heat. Can I make that joke? Um, You already did, and it affected me either way. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I guess let's move on from that, yeah? Um, Jared, we recently heard um, part of it. Why did you just pull a football out of your ass? I did not pull it out of my lower regions. First off, this but is I a clean pod. Yeah, because I've decided I want to join the NFL. And I need your full support. Dress like a, a college tennis player. Ooh. This is my uh, college tennis uniform. I don't know if that impresses you ladies out there, but I did. Uh, I hit a ball with a stick often. So Wow. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm you hit a ball dripping. with a stick often. That sounds a little bit like that you That sounds play more like baseball. Team. Oh. And by other team, I meant baseball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, Jared, I, I heard this story this week, and I was like, why haven't you talked about it on the podcast? I want to hear about that time that you were a loser in uh, high school. Hey, excuse me. It was elementary. Dude, uh, the epitome of a nerdy uh, loser. And I love you, though. Jesus Christ. Like, uh, uh, come see, on. See, you notice how when I say things, it's got like a jokey edge to it. You cut so deep with your <laughs> insults. Know. You're like, Jared, you're you a loser. You'll never do anything you're with your entire nerdy. life. You are the worst human you're I've ever experienced loser. in my entire life. Yeah, that's I'm exactly joking. What I'm an actress. That's what I do. <gasps> but I'm like, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't get that reference, go back to, I think it was 29 or something like that. No, we were on um, like a, a podcast for somebody. It doesn't matter the setup. I want to hear the story. Well, yeah, they just asked what our most embarrassing moment was. And I didn't realize I've never told this on dropouts, but uh, there was one time. So I was in <laughs> sixth grade um, and it was like near the end of the school year. And so my school just had like a field day. So like basically the whole day was recess. So we spent all day outside playing. Um, and there was uh, a point in the day where this kid named Cameron, fuck this kid. I hated him. F this so, Cameron kid. F Cameron. Yeah. Yeah. Kiss him if we saw him maybe, but no, no. So he comes over and he, he decides to pants me in front of Indy. Listen to the story. Holy hell. I, I literally, it. You, that this doesn't a podcast. matter. It's a podcast. You're reacting for the fans. Anyway. Um, so he decides oh to my God, pants that's me. Cr- wow, he got pants. I'm going. You're going to what, Jared? I'm going to jump what? over this table and fucking body Do slam it. you. I dare you. You want to go? Yeah, I'd be kind of into it. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. You've been, I'm going to sit down way too quick. sexually comfortable with the man <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah, guys, Jared and I are actually dating. We slept together for the first time last week. No, we're not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I filmed it. Uh, that is not correct. <laughs> <laughs> That is not correct. If you guys did sleep together, would it be awkward? Oh, like, oh 100%. Yeah, because we would never sleep together. Yeah, like that would never be a possibility. So if it were to happen, we'd both be absolutely blackout drunk and just guesstimating if it happened or not, and then it'd just be weird. Even if like the thought popped in our head of like, did we? Did we? You know, It'd be like, like oh. that would completely ruin the friendship. Okay, oh, just like, hear, hear me out. It, say, say you got, say you accidentally get her pregnant, which is, prob- which is like, it's like a fifty percent at this point. What would you guys name the kid? How is it a fifty? What would we name the kid? Honestly, let's say it on the count of three. It's a boy. It's a boy. I gotta hold on. I gotta think of this. I gotta think of this. Um, Little Masara. It would be a Bailey. Yeah, because it takes after the dad's name. Well, I, I which thought- I think is a little. Sexist, if you ask me. Tradition. Well, yeah, I was like, it's tradition. It's just that's what. But, but honestly, I, you're different. You took after your mom's name. Well, he because had to. Uh, yeah, I was like, <laughs> because I couldn't have CB270 as the last name. Jared CB270. That would have been sick. That would be weird if I just like had to introduce myself or like. Oh hi, I'm Jared CB. This is my girlfriend R2D2. <laughs> <laughs> this is our son BB8. Okay, what would you name a kid? Okay, on the count of three. Three, God. two, one. Jeremy. Tyler. Jeremy and Tyler? <laughs> I don't know. I, know. I just said the first name that came Me to Me too. Ew. Honestly, wait. I want to, like, I've always had the name, um, 
like the first and middle name is James Anthony. James Anthony Bailey. Yeah. I want to slap you for that. That poor kid. Why? Hi, I'm James Anthony Bailey. Like the fourth? Like what? What the hell? I thought that like was a, a good name. I just always have liked the name James, like the fool with it. And then Anthony is my grandfather. And then Bailey. You know? I want to name my kid after uh, a state just so they get the joke as well. Indiana too. <laughs> well, I was thinking something like. Kansas. Oh, well, I was thinking an Australian I've known one. a girl named Kansas. Really? Yeah. I was thinking an Australian one. Oh, so it'd be the North Territory, Masara. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the Northern. So. Oh, Northern. No, territory. I was thinking maybe. Hold on, maybe, maybe WA? What? Maybe Western Australia? <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. So that was going to be part of the thing. Uh, like part of the episode today was like somebody recommended, um, like since Indy had to pick out South Anna. Dakota. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I would love for you guys to name Australian. Well, I was thinking about that. There's not that many of them, and half of them give away the name of what they are. Yeah. Western, Western Australia, Australia, Northern, Northern Terry, Australia. Northern Territory, South Southern Australia. All right, yeah. we're getting off topic. What uh what was your story? Oh yeah. All anyway, right. field day, whole school's out there. Cameron pantses me. Right? Cameron. Your ding dong was out? My ding dong was not out. A little tic tac. I my underwear was still up. Probably wasn't the most like um you know, flattering underwear because it was sixth grade. So it probably was like, honestly, some Spider-Man Or like underwear. ones you borrowed from your mom that was a thong. Ew. Not a big no. deal. Who's, who's FaceTime you right now, by the way? Is it a girl? Is it a female that you've been talking to for quite some time? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Pants is me. So then I turn around, right? And <laughs> um, as I turn around, I can't remember if it was a football or a soccer ball, but some object comes f- hurtling towards my face Hits me, knocks me out cold. <laughs> knocks and you out so cold. <laughs> I'm just laying on the ground, knocked out with my pants down. And it also broke my glasses. I wore glasses at the time. And they were Dude, like, Dude, you got to get your old life together. Neon Dude. green glasses. I would have like, put you down on the spot. I'd be like, Well, <laughs> natural selection. This one's just got to go. You know, let's put them in the furnace already. Cremation. God. I'd spread your ashes, though, across the high seas. Wow, I appreciate that. You're welcome. So that was like, I can't believe I've never told that story before, but that was probably like one of the most embarrassing moments because then I just woke up in the in the <laughs> nurse's office. And she's like, and your pants are still down. You're like, you could at least put this up for me. Yeah. Was that, your nurse okay. hot? No, 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 okay. no. It I feel was, like there's a fine line. But yeah. It was my friend Will's mom, and she was like 55. Oh, and she saw like, your Tic Tac? No, my pants weren't down at that point. They put them up for you? Yeah. And That's then, nice. That means someone had to carry me from the field into the school like like a dead body like uh like when Hagrid's carrying Harry like back do you think the kids were like oh no Jerry no god no Jerry I'm sure no. they were probably do you think just, they just like do you think just went yeah that checks out and they turned around and like honestly played tetherball. probably at that point they were probably just like yeah that checks out I'm sorry about that Jared were, were you um yeah I was still big like still a big boy time, still Ooh, bigger so that might have had two people try and carry you I know Oh. It wasn't that big. It was sixth grade. Cut back. There's like eight people just trying to lift them. <laughs> Dude, we can. Let's. Should we roll them? Can so, I hear this macaroni story? Oh, the macaroni story. I've just been we ate macaroni well, the, today. This is the infamous macaroni story. It's gonna be a big letdown because we've hyped it up so much because it's just a simple macaroni story. But uh, you remember Jared? Oh yeah, of course I remember the macaroni so, story. So we didn't. Well, when was this? This was Fourth of July. Fourth of July. But we didn't like last year. Well, no, not last year. No, not last twenty nineteen. So Jared and I, we get invited to this adult party. You know, we're we're gonna be the young people there. We're like middle aged people, and then we hear about. I would say 40 minutes before we leave the house that there's going to be a macaroni and cheese competition. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to it's going to be like it's a big deal. Like like a big all deal. All year like all the old ladies get their recipes together and they they spend like a week just preparing this macaroni and cheese. Honestly like family spend generations. Generations perfecting. passing down legacy <laughs> of the noodles and cheese. And then us boys, it was me, Jared, our other roommate, Josh at the time, we said, okay, we'll enter. <laughs> we, we've got about 39 minutes at this point. We're like, what do we have um, that could uh, combat these 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 old traditions of these old ladies? And, yes. and we found two boxes of Kraft. Uh-huh. And, uh, which is a good start. Which is a good start. That's Everybody macaroni and cheese. Kraft. Everybody loves Kraft. Uh-huh. Um, and then we start just mixing it with random things. I think we mixed it with like mayonnaise and like cream <laughs> yeah. cheese. Oh, and then dude. and then we we taste it. We're like, this is bad. This is bad. And then we put like a whole bunch of like spices. Like we put like garlic powder and onion yeah. powder. And, and stuff. then we tasted it. And we said, oh, this couldn't be worse. You forgot the best part. We um we wanted. We're like, oh, we should put like breadcrumbs on top. Oh yeah yeah. But we didn't have breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. and we couldn't like toast anything. So I had some like 
croutons and we just <laughs> oh, crushed, crushed up, up croutons, croutons <laughs> and put it put it on top for the fancy layer. We popped that thing in the oven at 350 for maybe six minutes. It did nothing. <laughs> it, it did even, nothing. It didn't even get like a golden brown. But, over but then it. we could say we, then we could say baked breadcrumb macaroni and cheese on our label. Uh huh. Because we're not liars. And we get there and we've got like our little macaroni and cheese. We haven't unveiled it yet. Um. So we're just standing there and oh, the old ladies are just walking around like looking at other people's. We set ours down and we opened it up. And man, every other macaroni and cheese was the fanciest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> so how it worked was everyone came around and they um, tasted each one and they voted. And um, <laughs> But there's this one old lady who's like walking around like a hawk. And then she sees ours and she tastes it. And then she goes around to all the other old ladies and like whispering in their ear because I can hear them. She's like, that's just crap macaroni and cheese. They shouldn't be in this competition. <laughs> yeah, they were <laughs> so serious about she's, it. She, she's like, they didn't even make it from scratch. So if they even get a vote, I would just be completely surprised. <laughs> it is, this, this is abomination. This is a tradition that we do every year and they're just making a mockery of it meanwhile we're hyped we're like you know we might win dude, <laughs> we really thought we had a chance after because there were some of them no when like, it was warm it was edible oh when it was warm, warm? it was like it was like okay I would, decent. i'd have a second bite maybe yeah um but when it was cold it was could not keep it the down voting didn't even start till about like an hour or two after oh we yeah got into the party and there was like they didn't have like heaters or anything to like keep it like the little and basically we had ice cold craft mixed with mayonnaise and garlic powder oh. and breadcrumbs that and were really croutons. croutons and um Needless to say, we got a strong dead last. <laughs> you guys um, got last? Oh, dead oh, last. 100%. I don't know if we got one vote. I, I voted no, for we me. We got three votes because you voted for us, I voted for us, and Josh <laughs> voted for us. Dude, I came very close. We should have rigged that thing. Oh, no, 100%. No, yeah, all the ladies would just walk out and just left us with the ballots. I came very close to being like, oh, let's dude. rig this election. We were so close to rigging it. You should have. That would have been so funny. Oh, that funny. one old lady with the white hair, about 5'2", would have just lost her mind. I've been what working on this for years. She would have thrown a fit. It was so, it was well, like one of my coworkers at the time, Jeff, it was his party. And he like pulled me aside after like the voting, like after the taste test. And he's like, yo, what the hell was that <laughs> injury? And uh, he was like, that was the worst thing I've ever tasted. And I said, said, first off, <laughs> we had 38 minutes to prepare. I was like, why didn't you tell me about this? Like, but for like, we did pretty decent for like the time we had and the resources. It doesn't Honestly, sound like you did decent at all. When it was we hot, it was decent. You would have definitely had a second bite, maybe. I would not. <laughs> I maybe. hate macaroni and cheese. Then See, but you ate it today. No, I oh. he ate it. Oh. I took a bite of his and went. How do you hate that? Wasn't the best and macaroni and cheese. cheese though. I just I don't understand it. You don't understand. What? No, I don't. Is it's it the like, concept or? It's the fact that like why would you just cover pasta and cheese and nothing else? That would. That would be the part that we like. That's yeah, I was like, the cheese is yeah. the best part. I'm not the biggest fan of cheese. That but would recently, do it. I've gotten into blue cheese dressing. Listen, I'm not saying I'm, a, I'm, I'm rubbing off on you, but this girl has been throwing down some blue cheese recently, and I've been Ooh, very proud. Yo. I'm a, I would say I'm going to... Do a little wing, some blue cheese. Dude. Mwah. We got... I don't know. We found a hack to getting blue cheese. Yo, a lifetime what the supply hell is that? Cheese. We got Buffalo Wild Wings this week. And, oh, and might I add... I could eat that every day. So Ooh, yummy. It's good. It's good. It's, uh, we should order it on Saturday for the game. I think, oh, I think we're going to do a little Conor McGregor uh, oh, little really? house party here. What do you think about that, Jared? That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, when this podcast comes, comes out, everybody will already know the results. So we won't talk about it too much. But We had a great time. We had a great time. We we had made a great some time. I can't believe Conor hit him with that left in the second round and knocked him out. I think Zach's going to make him make his buffalo chicken dip. Are you really? I don't know. I don't know if my body could handle buffalo wild wings and the chicken dip in one night. I'm going to maybe throw down some... Bolognese. <laughs> no, uh, I was going to do a sweet... Sweet. I was thinking maybe some. Um, Ooh, I'm a slut. I was for thinking sweets. some brookies. I don't know what a brookie is. Is that like a brownie cookie? Yeah. Okay. Oh, with like vanilla ice cream on the side. Yeah. Oh, suck me off and call me Billy. I want to eat that in my mouth. You guys have never had a brookie? Uh, ew. What? You literally <laughs> just mix brownie batter. Well, you make the brownie batter a little bit thicker and you get some cookie with two dough. C's. Speaking of thicker, I've seen you do those squats. Ew. That's just weird. <laughs> No, that was so funny last week. Uh, what did what I say? You tell me I can't make a Lego. Oh, it's like you can't. You tell me I can't ask for a, a Lego <laughs> nude or whatever of my co-host. Whack. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> Whack. And then it like cuts and it's like, it's just me being offended because I'm being creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have chocolate ice cream though? I know, dude, vanilla. I, I'm a big it's chocolate. It's going to be too much chocolate. I mean, I can bring chocolate oh, just for you. I'll get a little, you. I'll get like a little, little thing. Chocolate okay. ice cream is my favorite. So is, you, is my job the sweet of the night? Yes. Yeah. What's you bring my drinks job? too? My job could be drinks. You can do drinks. Oh, but back to um, like naming the states or whatever. I thought it would be fun instead 
of naming the, like the Australian states because they give them away themselves and the names. Um, it'd be fun to do like an Australian slang quiz. Oh, easy, easy. Are hey, you watch sure this. Oh, I've done this so many times. Oh no. Oh. Anyway, no. <laughs> kangaroo. What is it? I know exactly what it is. Wombat. Know what it is? Steakhouse. Been there. We used to work there. If you can pass this Australian slang quiz, you're, you're an honorary, honorary Aussie. Aussie. All right, pass. Pash. I'm not going to answer these. Passion fruit to qu to squash a spider to kiss or to clap. Okay, l let me try to let me try to, to use clap it in a sentence. them cheeks, boy. <laughs> Jared, stop. This sorry. is a wholesome podcast. You're talking about sexual intercourse. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know all the answers to these, so I'm not going to. Yeah, I sure hope so, you bloke. <laughs> That's a man. You bloke, you bloke, bloke it. No, uh, there's Sheila's and there's blokes. Let's just see what makes sense. A pash. Yo, Jared, you trying to pash right now? But like to kiss. To squash a spider seems so specific. I know. Oh, can you go past that? Yeah, like, like, why is that? No, I say that's out. Would you say that's out? Oh, 100%. Passion fruit, I don't feel like they're talking about passion fruit enough for it to be... Yeah, why would they shorten, shorten it? That? It's like, can you give me a passion fruit? Can you give me that posh? It's like, do you guys care about passion fruit that much where it would be used? Pass the posh. <laughs> guys, that's my posh. Um, to clap. Can I get a quick posh? That doesn't add up to me either. I feel like See, it's kiss. I feel like it's kiss because it's like a shortened version of like passionate. You know? Yeah. But passion fruit. You guys want to know the answer now? Well, hold on. Hold on. Let's click it. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. What are, wait, are we going what? with kiss? Honestly, my gut's telling me passion fruit, but I'm going to go with kiss. All right. right, let's. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with kiss too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So oh, the term in Australia is like, oh, did you guys pass? It's like. Is it make out or is it like it's a. It's make out. It's oh, make out. Whoa. But there's a, there's a, it came from a, I don't know if it came from like the word, the nickname Pash didn't come from this, but we had a really, really big show in Australia called um, Kath and Kim. Mm. Oh, I love that show. No, it's actually really funny. I'll show you. Like, I want us to all watch an episode so you guys really understand what Australian TV is like. But, is it like um, a sitcom? Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, there's something called a Pash Rash. And like when Ugh. you guys are making out for too long, you guys- And like you your lips get yeah, chaffed and yeah. shit? <laughs> a Pash Rash. Wait, like, is that like when you yeah. get red around here? Yeah. It's a little Pash Rash? Pash, pash Rash. rash. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Oh, look at you, little Pash Rash. All right. A Devo. Devo? Or is Devo? It Devo or Devo? Devo. A Devo. Okay. Uh, um, it's either definitely devastated, spare tire, or after work. I think it's definitely like, oh, Devo. Devo. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> Indy with her little Posh friends. Debo. <laughs> that sounds like something Debo. out of Mean, mean Girls. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Pick you. I'm thinking, do you, wait, do you agree? I think, well, a spare, a Debo. A spare tire, just like, give me the spare tire. Give me the Devo. After work. Oh, I was absolutely Devo. Oh, it's absolutely Devo. Oh, it could be. <laughs> I, I think because it's Devo stated. Yeah. Devo. I mean, that adds up, but, but also I'm thinking like, Devo. I, I think, I think it's definitely. Are you Let's, sure? Okay. I'll rock with you. All right. It's devastated. It's God. devastated. You're like, oh, dude, I'm Devo. But like, That's are you Devo. actually Devo? Yeah. But that doesn't sound like, I wouldn't nah, say. Well, you guys are American. I know, but that but just doesn't sound like, like you're actually devastated. God. Yeah, that was Devo. So it's so it's not really devastated. If you were really devastated, you wouldn't say Devo. But like you say Devo and so you're like, like oh, my grandma is dying and I'm just. Devo. Devo. I don't know. Just Devo. We're 50-50, Jerry. That's fine. 50-50. What Oh, the? fair dinkum. <laughs> uh, fair dinkum. <laughs> Fair dinkum. <laughs> it's true. Good game. Your turn. Dog walk. There is no way. You guys want a different word now? <laughs> hey, what if we just came up with a word that, that no one's heard before? <laughs> it's a Tuesday. We're bored. It's That's what Tuesday. Australians do. Fair well, dinkum. Fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. All right. Let's use them all in a sentence. Okay. So, so if it's true. It's true. Like, I tell you something unbelievable. Okay. Did you know... I just won the lottery. Fair dinkum. Well, no, no. You're like, <laughs> then you say, no way. No way. Fair dinkum. That's that kind of hit. That kind of hit. All right, now we're, we're, playing, stupid. we're playing basketball. Okay, so. Oh, I was just won the game. one on one. Yeah. Fair dinkum, mate. That, that kind of hit. Watching Americans figure this out is the um, dumbest thing ever. It's like trying to see me figure out which state is which. Yeah, but it's words we've never heard before. All right. Okay, so, and there's states I've never seen before. You've All seen right, them. So your turn. <laughs> okay. So we're playing Monopoly. Whose turn is it? Yeah, I think it's yours, mate. Fair dinkum. Mm. Yeah, no. Uh, a dog walk. Nah. Dog walk. Yeah, you'll, you want to take the old husky on a walk? Yeah, fair dinkum. A little fair dinkum. Yeah. No, I think no. it's one of the top two, honestly. <laughs> I think it's one of the top two. I think. Mm, oh. Fair dinkum. <laughs> I kind of like the it's true, but also good game. Good game. Hit. Good game makes sense with a fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. Playing cornhole. Oh, fair, fair dinkum. dinkum. All right. Yeah, let's go with that one. Shit. Oh, it's true. So it means, okay, so basically a, a, a real big way Australians will use it is like, dude, he's a fair income idiot. Like, he's a fair income dickhead. 
Like he's a true idiot. He's a true this. He's a true that. Like uh, it's like it's like you are. A, it's like you are definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, like, it's, like it's like a it's like a punch to being like you're an idiot. You're a fair dinkum idiot. Fair dinkum idiot. That's like the the main way. People don't just people don't really use it in a sense of like, oh, the sky's blue. Fair dinkum. It's like you know what I mean. Oh, okay. chuck a block. I know what this is. Chuck a block. Yeah. All oh. right. So building site. <laughs> Cadbury chocolate, quiet or crowded? God, I used to know this one. Did you really? Because yeah. I used it. Chocolate block. So did my mom. Chocolate block. We use this a lot. Like when we're around Australians, because you guys would never know what it means. I think it's crowded. I think it's crowded too. That's the only one that makes, like, chocolate block sounds like it would be, like, loud. Like, it couldn't be quiet. Oh, I was bloody chocolate block in there. Yeah. Like I was, was walking through the cafe in chocolate block. Chocolate <laughs> block. But there also were 16 chocolate blocks. Cadbury chocolate. Yeah, that's I'm too specific. It's yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. The Cadbury squashes. chocolate is our biggest chocolate over there, by the way. Is it's it like really? it's kind of like the it's, Hershey's. Yeah, it's the Hershey's, whatever. but it's so much better in Australia because Cadbury here I don't feel is that good. Well, that's, we don't eat it. The only time we ever eat it is Easter. Like and the like, even then, we're like, you know, no, give Cadbury me a chocolate in Australia. I feel like we got to go crowded. Crowded, definitely. Crowded. Easy one. It's crowded. Oh, got it. All right. It's Actually, like you would say, be like, oh, dude, it's chocolate block in there. Yeah. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, she used chokoseki. That's vomit, right? That has to be vomit. vomit. Chokoseki. Oh, dude, why would you say that though? You're just at, like, if it makes sense if you shorten it, but like, you just, just, you just throw up. Hey, no, hey, hey, you're wrong. Hey, what? We haven't picked it. We haven't we picked, picked it. it. Wait, now we know it's not that. Now we know it's to not make that. bread. Take the day. Oh, take the day oh, off. Like I didn't see that day. one. All right, let's go with that one. Yeah. Take it. Okay, chuck like, a Oh, I'm gonna chuck a ziggy. But the vomit makes sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Same thing. That's true. I'm gonna chuck a ziggy. God, I don't even know. Bludger. What that is. I don't Bludger. even know what that is. Beer, lazy person, good person, or a bird. Oh, it's lazy person. I have no you idea what this lazy is. Person? Oh, 100. Yeah, I used to. Oh, he's a bludger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. I didn't even know that. Well, you're not Australian like me. Snag. Snag. Oh. What's up, my little oh. snag daddies? What's up, my little snag daddies? Sausage and a bread. Cheap deal to like a gossiper. Ooh, I feel like oh, it might you're be such a, a oh, she's such a little snag. She's such a little that snag. one right there's a little snag. It's kind of like what's a uh, Bridge Bridgerton? Is that the show you watch? Bridgerton. So I, dude, okay. Indy's a snag. <laughs> I effing love that show. I wish you guys would watch it so I could gossip about it with you. Okay, snag I think it's a gossiper. It? A gossiper. Wait, why? No. Why do you think that? Sausage and bread. Yeah. It, Dude, it, how you know, often like, are you guys talking about sausage and bread? Well, uh, well snack isn't the main eat. word that we use. We normally say like, um, what's the word? I think my mom says sanger or something like that. But you can say snack. It's like normally outside of Bunnings. We have this thing in Australia called Bunnings, which is like our home depot. And like you. Depot. I was about to. It's like a hot dog, but it's like. Whoop, whoop. Between bread. It's good. Okay. <laughs> That's please, the sound of the police. Please tell me this is not a siren. Like, you guys just hear it and be like, yeah, they made the whoop whoops. Sam, I was like, oh, is that one of those whoop whoops? Dude, thing. I could see like bank robbers in Australia. Whoop, They're like, the whoop whoops are here. <laughs> no, the whoop whoops. <laughs> Come we on. We got 60 seconds to the whoop whoops. <laughs> I don't think the whoop whoops will be here in time. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way it's blue cheese. Blue cheese? Yeah, I'm addicted, addicted to, to blue, blue cheese. cheese. Okay, it's siren and fried truck, which I feel like is the same thing. So I guess, or is it Outback, Mr. Steakhouse? I've never heard of a whoop whoop when I worked there. Oh. I, let's go with siren? I think a safe bet. Well, uh, just click siren. Jesus. Right. It's Outback. What? The whoop whoop? Dude, I'm going up whoop whoop. It means like middle of nowhere. But like you guys hear yourself whoop. when you say it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> going up the whoop whoop. No, no, it's no like, I'm going out to the outback. No, dude, we lost her we in the whoop few, whoop. We say a few things. Whoop whoop is definitely um, going up like. Whoop whoop, the whoop main sounds one. like a four year old came up with it. Knackered. Knackered. That means to be tired. I think I know that Let's one. enunciate that one, Jared. Um, I said that. I'm just saying. Yep. What's it close to? All right. Doesn't um, matter. Boomer. Boomer. I think this is something, but I'm also not 100% sure. Airplane, boomerang, balloon, kangaroo. <sighs> I mean, boomerang would make too much sense, right? Right? Yeah, that's too obvious. I want to go. Honestly, I want to go. I want to go airplane. I was oh, gonna okay. go balloon, just because like when it pops, it goes boom. You <laughs> okay. know, you f- that is idiot. All right, should we go with airplane? Okay, though? Miss Whoop Whoop. <laughs> Let's go with airplane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if it's a kangaroo, I'm gonna punch somebody. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> I've never heard it called a boomer. Oh, uh, we got a twenty-four percent. 
Uh, wow. I feel know, like we shout did, out Kobe. Oh, yeah. You guys did get a lot wrong, I realize. You got now. five. Wait, how did we get? Oh. You okay, guys no. did get a lot wrong. How, wait, how did we get? Well, now we're oh, not allowed we, into no, the country. No, we scored 24% better. We got five out of 10. Five out of 10. 50%. Yeah. All right. We're 50% Australian. Yeah. Dude, bring out the Bloomin' Onion. Let's do you, it. You know? <laughs> uh, we are based on the BuzzFeed quiz. Have you guys seen um, or heard about, like, uh, the Azalea Banks like weirdness it's kind of i don't know who that no. is i don't really know who that is either i know the name but i really i don't know that's the thing i know the name have no idea who, who she what, is or, or what she does but i saw a headline the other day because she went it was either on her story or was on instagram live or something where she had uh exhumed her dead cat's body oh and my was God. boiling it no dude sh- psychopath she did what to her she dead cat's like- body no, it this girl's it. like a psychopath. She, she says that no, but she boiled it. Yeah, she yeah, it was, boiled it. She dug it. it up. She it was buried in the ground and she boiled for it for three months. She boiled it for three months. No, what no, do you no, mean? no, no, no. She, oh, it was no, buried dead, for three months. It was months. Dead, oh. dead and in the ground for three months, and she dug it up and boiled it. But she, it, it, like, dude, for over three years, she's been doing like animal sacrifices. Yeah, Did she you has see that like too? A closet, a closet where she that's she would like sacrifice covered kid, uh, and that's, chickens. That's like frowned upon. Yeah, it's covered, dude. It's it's not just chickens as well covered in blood and, and feathers, feathers. yeah and that's weird dude it's just dis- <laughs> no it's disgusting and then when people were calling her out for animal cruelty and disrespect and like you know like disrespecting corpses and stuff like that she was like you guys have like no idea this is my religion she started talking like we were crazy and like saying that she was gonna like curse like everybody that like bashed her for it yeah because she was like saying that she's a witch yeah, it was like it's part of her like I don't her religion or a culture or something like Wiccans and stuff like Dude, that. But they got a website. Like that. <laughs> Are you interested, Zach? Yeah, I'm interested in joining. <laughs> freaking weird shit. Yeah, like it's freaky. But she so she boiled it because she wanted a lot of people. There were like rumors going around that she ate her dead cat, um, but she just wanted the skull from it and literally just boiled the skin off of it. <laughs> um, Speaking of eating dead anyway, cats, Jared ate a girl out of her period. You, Shut up. I okay, that's, that's a different story. But I true. Didn't know I didn't know that's yes. how you got um, skin off bones. I that I guess that's one way. <laughs> she said it was like she's part of it's part of taxidermy or whatever. That's um, so so nasty. then she's on a radio show. This just happened. She's on a radio show and they're asking her about this and like trying to like clear the rumors of if she ate her dead cat. And she's like, she's like, no, 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 no. I just boiled it to get the skull or whatever. She's like, I'm actually really fascinated by bones. And then reaches off screen <laughs> and grabs. She's like a human skull. A human skull. Nice. Bought offline online. And it's Allegedly. of a six year old girl oh. that died from head trauma. No, thank you. And she's like, yeah, when you like, you know, when you're an organ donor, like on your license or ID or whatever, it's like they dissect you and like for science and stuff uh you can buy you little can, girl skulls online you can buy human skulls and like bones and stuff like that god and are you sure that's not on the black market she she said the website name it was like bone room or something like that Dude, she i thought it was a, a different website personally when i went there a little girl's skull what is wrong with her no nope. uh, i what? why would the parents allow their child skull to be put up for sale well no when you donate your body to science you have no um say in what they do you know because they're not just i changed my mind on being an organ donor no you should still be an organ donor. i'm gonna be an organ donor would you mind saving a contract where i can have your skull if you keep it by my bedside (laughs) that way you're always there i'll keep your hat on actually that's kind of (laughs) sweet fine i won't keep your skull dude you're so ugh. ugh you're so old school (laughs) <laughs> can i at least wear your teeth as a necklace and then speaking of weird shit that people are into um have you guys heard about the army hammer stuff no the what the actor army hammer you so have to show me a, a face i don't know some dms of his with some anonymous individual uh were leaked and uh it turns out he has a cannibal fetish nice yes i've heard about this weird shit dude weird shit oh this guy's yes apparently he's got a really big cannibal fetish and like a bunch of dms of him like like it's really fucked up um as far as we know it's just like talk and like fantasy and whatever you know like he hasn't actually consumed anybody but he likes watching other people consume people no like he wants to oh so 
it's like the the leak DMs are kind of like fucked up. Um, I'll eat a hoe. I'll, <laughs> what? Uh, I'll I'll pull them up in a second, but um, it's all just one sided. Like it's very clear that the other person like unsent all of their messages and then screenshotted and like leaked them. All I'm saying is, if I got eight girls in a club that call that octopus, <laughs> no. All right, my bad. Move. Thank you. That didn't deserve that. Well, I, I it's kind of it. not bad, right? No. Thank really? You. That's better. All right. <laughs> I gave you three. But now I know. That's criticism. Like, that's constructive criticism. Constructive back criticism. To the drawing board. Thanks, guys. That's effed. I think if you're going to leak someone, someone's shit, take accountability for your side, too. Because the person was clearly egging him on. Uh, and it was like... So what, what was he saying? Like, I wouldn't mind chomping down an old finger? It's mostly ribs. Like he wants the person to baby um, bag ribs are pretty delicious. He wants the person to what? Remove the ribs. Like he wants to find. This is literally a quote from one of his ex girlfriends. Um, she was talking to like Star Magazine or something, and she said uh, he dated her for four months at the end of 2020, August to December. And she, this is a direct quote. She said he said he wanted to find a doctor that would remove my ribs. He was telling me you can remove the bottom ribs, so. He could smoke them, cook them, and eat them. He kept saying, you don't need them. Okay, hear me out. Yes. Gordon Ramsay make, it prepares the ribs. You're telling me you're not <laughs> taking one bite. Oh, my God. Would you guys ever eat human flesh? No. no. No, Jared. I mean, if I'm on a deserted, okay, us three deserted island, like we've got no food. You're telling me we're not chomping down an old Bailey over there to survive? What the hell? You've got the most, Zach, we wouldn't, what? You want to eat her? Who's the first to go? I don't want to die. Who's the first to go? <laughs> <laughs> you and be you. Wow, so you'd let him eat me? How do you mean? Wow. How do you mean? No, like if 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 Oh, like I actually eat you? Like we're all starving and you'd let him kill me. So you No, not no. Eat. If what if you if you die by natural causes? I die by natural causes. Yeah. Then sure. I'll ahead. take a bite of that that roast beef. Then sure. Then I want you guys to survive off of me. But Ugh. Whoa, I did not like the sound of that. Dude, but, imagine just like <laughs> just turning Indy on a fire. Oh. Don't be so fucking gruesome. You just said you wanted us to eat you. Not like that. I prefer to be cooked. I get it, but like, don't just like turn me. What do you mean? Cut me up into little pieces. All right, fry this me. is an example oh, of one little, thing he said. Little Indy stir fry. He said, "I am a hundred percent a cannibal. I want to eat you. Fuck, that's scary to admit. Be I've never admitted that before. You just live to obey and be my slave. I will own you. That's my soul, my brain, my spirit, my body. Would you come and be my property till you die? What kind of Tinder pickup line is this? I if I wanted to cut off one of your toes and keep it with me in my pocket, so I always had a piece of you in my possession. I chase you down and pounce on you so fast if you tried to walk away." That uh, it's bleeped out. Uh, you'll need something strong to hold me back from you. Okay. What? So he's interested. Ladies, what a this is how you know a guy's weirdo. into you. Um, oh my God. That just made me so hard and it makes me confused as to why. Is that even possible? So hard to think of holding your heart in my hand and controlling when it beats. <laughs> you weirdo. I hope he never books another film. I've cut the heart out of a living animal before and eaten it while still warm. He said I'm 100% a cannibal. So anyway, um, that's kind of crazy. And so I don't know who, huh. like, I think it was I'm anonymous. I'm picturing him eating a warm heart. So we're not... So we're not inviting him to the to, to the, the little, cookout. To the little cookout. <laughs> <sighs> Damn. So he, I heard looks he like makes uh, some banging ribs. Looks like old hammer mate brought the ribs. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> having any? They're quite large. Did he come out and say that they were real? Um, I know he did drop out of the most recent movie that he was supposed to film, and he was supposed to like be the lead alongside like Jennifer Lopez or something like that. Ooh, J Lo, dude. He probably want to eat that J Lo booty. What an effing Good weird. Call. Oh, he said uh, they're bullshit claims. So, <laughs> but he dropped out. Yeah. Nah, the the network would have for sure been like. Yeah, he dropped out. Yeah. There was nobody that pressured him to drop out. Welcome back to Dropouts, episode thirty one. Sorry, every time we say drop out, my mind resets. So there is the leaked DMs. His ex girlfriend Paige Lorenz. I don't know. She's Ooh, a model. That's not gonna be happy. Is the one <laughs> that uh, had the quote, and then. Oh, and then she told a story that he even carved the letter A into her skin with a knife one time. And, like, she just talked about how painful it was. And then, after she came out and said that, another of his ex-girlfriends came out and said that Hammer was into, like, master and slave fetishes and said the same thing about her ribs. 
Hmm. So weird shit going on. Like, I don't understand how that develops. Like, where does that cannibal fetish fantasy come from? I have no idea. All right, everybody, hear me out. Everybody put their finger in their mouth really quick. Come on, guys. Jared? Jared, put your finger in your mouth. Did you enjoy that? Uh Uh-uh. You're not a cannibal. Very uncomfortable. Notice how Andy didn't do it because she might enjoy it too much. Because it's freaking weird. I'm not doing that. That makes sense. She'd eat us in a second. Would you, if we were on an island and one of us, would you eat us? I'd try and find out the food first. There are no other food. Yeah. What part would you start on? I don't got a lot of. Uh, Probably my thighs. Probably your thighs or your booty. Yeah, my booty. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the start of it. Because like nobody <laughs> has any context. Booty. You need my booty? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I would personally, I would save your booty for um for oil and stuff to start fires. Like the fat from it. Interesting. I would probably <laughs> do that with the thighs. I really? No, like, no. I, I feel like I got more on my booty. Oh, just like I don't just act know like you haven't seen my, my booty, Jay. I hate this. <laughs> The sexual tension in this room is getting quite it's out of non-existent. It's insane. Uh, I'm gonna slide right off that chair. Go ahead, Jared. Hill. Oh um, yeah, guys. On top of that, since the last time we've recorded, we had a big there like uh, a big event happen in the U.S. We have a new president. Who? President Joe Biden Pres- and Vice President Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. She's the first. Very exciting. She's the first woman vice president, right? Yeah, first woman, first black vice president. I saw. Go come on. I saw this really cute photo. It was this little girl, this little like uh, black girl. She was like running, but she had a a sweatshirt on and it said uh, the vice president looks like me. And I was like, oh, that's that's so sweet. Um, Does the vice president look like me or no? No. A little different? I just think like, dude, when they like finally, when she found out that they had like won, Mm -hmm. um, that phone call that she made to Joe, we did it, Joe, we did it. And like their little, their little fist bumps. It was so cute. Who would, um, out of all three of us, who would make the best president? Zach. Yeah, you're the most level-headed. You feel Indy, like you, you yeah. Indy's Indy too be fiery. Like, she would start World War nuke III. Nuke him! <laughs> You've been here 30 minutes. Nuke, nuke, <laughs> nuke, nuke, <laughs> nuke. <laughs> I am bleeding out of my uterus. Nuke. <laughs> no, I think, okay, I also, I don't agree with that. Not to get like too like. Political? I mean, no, because like clearly we're on, we're on the topic of politics, but all wars have been started by men. Allegedly. But like, no, but, actually. But no. maybe four women. Troy, interesting. Helen, but if, but, but do you know what I mean? All wars have been started by men, but, so but I feel like have a never nice. Been but in that yeah, position have they to been do that? exactly? Because we haven't been allowed. That's what I'm saying. So like, if you were allowed, I'm sure you'd start a couple of wars. Like, like who knows? Like, th- like throw back to 2016. Like if Hillary had won, who knows what could have happened? Okay, you know? she's a woman. What does that mean? Who knows what, what could have happened? Who knows what could happen? We had freaking President Trump as our freaking president. I'm sure she would have done that a better was job. Literally not like a no. slight against her being a woman. I was saying, hmm. who knows? We would still be in a we would still be in wars, no matter if there's a woman or a. Who knows? Like what could have like changed history wise if like she could have been in the position where she needed to start a war because we got attacked or something like something. Yeah, like and then it would have been like, see, women start wars. It would have happened. Like, if, if that would have happened. I mean, probably. I'm sure there would have been people So, out in there. Australia, I think we've only had um, one woman prime minister. It was Julia Gillard. We all hated her. She was a absolute bitch. Interesting. Like, we hated <laughs> her. Apparently, like, Australia hated her so much that they started making dog chewable toys of her. And my dog destroyed it. So. Well, let's get some darn... Fan questions. If you guys knew I had a month left to live, what would you do with me? Funny enough, you should ask that. That's one of similar to one of the questions we got. If you knew that you had only 24 hours to live, what would you do? And um, just random question, but how old do I look? Um, I'd say 18. I'm 100% all of you guys. <laughs> I'd say 16. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was just a joke. Oh, you look like 16. That was like 15. I was going to go. Yeah, younger 15, 15 14 16. or 15 i would say 14 yeah did she say how old she is no plenty enough oh, right. so we we have no idea but she just Six. wanted to know what we thought how old she was if i had 24 hours to live i would say i want to go back to australia but that takes like 26 hours to fly there so <laughs> she's she's, she's just dead on, on arrival <laughs> <laughs> well her body's here you guys can um eat it if you want <laughs> just call back go get all the tattoos that i've been wanting to get <laughs> that takes all the tattoos she'd be sitting in the chair for like eight hours yeah just like i don't know i don't know what i do um i would go skydiving i, if I'm gonna I would go diving, diving. i went rocky mountain climbing i went 2.7 seconds, seconds on a fool named fool man <laughs> <laughs> i was wondering who knew it yeah i didn't um you didn't know that 
I, I love did, that song. Yeah. I'd probably go like bungee jumping without the bungee. But you'd be terrified. You got to do it in like the last minute. Yeah. She just starts her day like that. <laughs> she had a full 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's that's a pretty dark a one. Dark, um, it's a dark, deep question. I would want to go to Disney World or, or Universal in Florida. Definitely get the Fast Pass. You're just waiting in line. It's like, <laughs> you mean can you just jump ahead a couple spots? Um, we've been here all day. I literally have 13 hours <laughs> left. I've got about 13 hours and uh, <laughs> I haven't even had a funnel cake. So <laughs> I don't like this question. It scares me. Can we move on? I'm sorry. Really? It scares you? Yeah. I'm the one I don't like thinking about you guys death. dying. I don't like thinking about me dying. Aw. Um, okay. If you met a genie, how would you spend your wishes? Uh, Aladdin okay. rules 75% Zach with a K and 25% Jared. Go that guy Buck is. guys. See, I'm a bear cat, but yes, I'm Ohio. not going to answer this. Um, if I met a genie, how would you spend your wishes? So you get three wishes. You can't wish for more wishes and all that stuff. You know, I'd wish that you could wish for more wishes. There's no loopholes. <laughs> There's no loopholes. <laughs> she goes, I wish you could wish for a loophole. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could wish for a loophole. Um, so I, would I could wish for more wishes. First oh. wish teleportation easy hell yeah that's a sick wish that's a sick wish. that's also my first wish because i like the traveling like the movie jumper yeah yeah but it also like anything that's on me or who i'm touching or things i'm touching can come with like Uh i agree i don't want to show up naked everywhere you know my Mm -hmm. ding dong just spread across antarctica no thanks i think it'll shrivel girls will go haha in the movie jumper (laughs) if he's moving with anything or whatever like even cars he can Perfect. Jump them. I want that. That's pretty sick. Um, I haven't seen that movie. Oh, uh, it's, it's not a good movie, but it's like a fun movie to think about having those powers. <laughs> anyway. I don't know why that made me laugh. Um, let's just go with one wish. One wish? It'll take take a while. I'm going to go teleportation. Um, teleportation. But I can bring you places. So, like, get something else. We can use it together. Unlimited money. Like, I just want a bank account that would never run out. Oh. Okay, that, we'd, we'd make a pretty good team. Yeah. Okay, all right, because then you could just cover everybody's financial things. Exactly. He'd be petty with it. Okay, what would mine? No, I wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. Um, what would mine be? Oh, oh can you wish for, like, all of us to eat, like, whatever we want and, like, be physically, like, perfect? Oh, like, we're all, okay. I like that. I already that. have that, so I don't want to. Well, I don't. <laughs> she, <laughs> said I, she said I'm already physically perfect. <laughs> no, I mean, I already can eat and not gain weight. No, no, but for, like, ever. Wouldn't that be so sick? That would but like, why does that have to be my wish? Why can't I have yours or yours? Why because we're I? hanging out with you. I know, but can I not have one of yours? All right, no, you're right. You get to pick whatever you want. I'm yep, sorry. You get to. But teleportation and unlimited money are off the table. <laughs> That's so dumb. I want to Okay, pick a new one. But I want those ones. You get to experience those. I know, but not really. I can like beep you there and beep back. But what if you're mad at me? Probably going to happen often, but you don't get to go to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I would pick. I'd pick unlimited money. No, oh, no, stop. Well, I already the picked f- it. I already picked it. No, no rule saying that I can't pick the same wishes. It's just well, boring. He's already just give, he can give I you all the money. I literally give you a billion dollars. Oh. And that's pretty much And it, then just but, give me a billion dollars. Even if you're mad at me, it's still in my bank account. <laughs> yeah. Great. All right. So she's just knows we're going to be mad at her. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, um, hey, that's every other day. So. And then we'd have to sign a contract saying that you would bring me wherever I wanted to go. I'm not signing. Okay. Me. Then teleportation. Dude, pick a different just pick a different why you guys not, did the cool ones because we're not actually there's getting a, we're not actually flying. getting to a, i pick flying that's dumb why? i can teleport yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> see ya um, 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 what would i pick what, what do i feel like i need you could probably invisibility or something like that i was thinking like invincibility so like you'd always be healthy kind of like almost like a superman that's what i was can trying, I choose to, when I I was trying to say what? Can I like still kill myself if well, I Well, like, you'd still in? you'd like die from old age, you know, but like nothing could hurt you. You'd never get sick. Yeah. Can you wish it for all of us? No, because you guys didn't wish teleportation for us. We didn't me. have the time. <laughs> no, so I'd pick invincibility. Oh, I thought, I, no, but wait. then I'd grow old and see everybody else die, and that's just sad. No, I said you would die with old age. <gasps> I'd want to be. No, I, I would want to just be invincible, not die. But I can choose when I want to die. Sure. Hold on. What? <laughs> sorry, I'm in, sorry, I'm in Fiji. Can't like hear you. Like I didn't. <laughs> like I didn't die. I get to decide when I die. It's like I live forever, but I get to choose when I want to die. So like, it's, it's like if I get to like 80, 90, 100 or whatever, I'd be like, you know, what? throw it in the towel. I'm good. But like, I don't want to age as well. I want to pick my peak form and not age. Okay. What do you think your peak form will be? Probably like 22. Apparently, a guy's peak form is 28. Really. To like 32. So those are our three wishes. Well, we get three wishes each. So frankly, unlimited money, teleportation, and invincibility. F*** you. I thought, I thought the point was that 
I thought when we started this that all three wishes applied to us, but we each picked one. Mm. Oh. I thought that's well, then let's what just was do what we Wait, just great. said. Then that's what we just then that. That's what I thought we were doing. I didn't realize. So, so it'd be kind of sick. The, we're all yeah, absolute trillionaires. We can teleport and. Um, it'd be kind of sick if you guys had to come to me to like teleport. You just. Why do you want that power over us? You got all the money. What do I have? What can I offer you guys? You're Nothing. healthy. <laughs> I'm healthy. Well, what if you could heal us? I pick all three. I'm. That's annoying. I'm annoyed that I got the worst one. I'm really pissed about it. <laughs> okay. You guys okay. get cool things. We well, don't I, have them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to let you know I don't have unlimited money in my bank account. Oh, that'd be nice. I used uh, to wear my hair like that for school. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Jeff, really? guys, my All name right. is Sienna, and I'm in high school, and I have a couple questions for you. Since I'm in high school, I've been looking at future career paths, and I know I want to go into the medical industry. So I was wondering, what jobs do you think I should look into? Be as creative as you want with that question. And then another question I have is, if you could be any animal, what animal would you be? And then... To add on to that, what animal do you think you'd actually be? Um, I'm a Ravenclaw. I'm 40% Team Zach, 40% Team Indy, and 20% Team Whole Milk. What's and up? I love you guys so much. Oh, Usually that's people sweet. aren't Team Me, which is, I, 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 I get butterflies it. in my, my I stomach. I enjoyed that she was like, I'm a Ravenclaw. You know, oh, like yeah, they're giving us their houses. Um, what was the first question? What should she do what in the medical med field? Yeah. Yeah, I what? think personally she should be a plastic surgeon. You are in bank doing that, and you make people feel more confident. But if you botch it, oh, it's bad. Ugh. If you botch it, it's bad, but I don't feel botch like, it. I feel like more plastic surgery is botched than not botched. Just I think don't you botch should go it. into brain surgery. That's intense. I think she can handle it. Did you see the pigtails? That's a woman that can work. Frankly, I think you should go into the medical field that earns you the most because your, your college bills are going to be insane for medical school. School nurse. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much money an ER trauma doctor makes, but I had a shadow one in high school. And let me just say, a little terrifying. The two weeks that I was there, there was never a dull day. I saw someone die and be resuscitated uh, back to life. I saw a man that. Um, How do we not know this? He overinflated his lung doing Zumba and it got <laughs> attached to his rib. <laughs> oh, um, that hurt. Oh. Like pinch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then the man that died and was resuscitated, he was an old man, had a heart attack outside of a Bob Evans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that adds up. His son came in. Uh, they must not have had a good relationship or whatever because he was pissed that they resuscitated his father <laughs> like, because he die. had a do not resuscitate on him, but nobody knew because he was rushed into the ER. Um, and then do not wow. there's a man whose asshole mm. literally fell out of him. What do you mean it fell out of him? Like he tried to shit so hard that he oh. like pushed out. It was like a kind of like a hemorrhoid, but like he pushed out. Like intestines Jared, and shit. Did you think? Did you think in your mind? Let's tell that story because <laughs> we didn't have to. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Think about that when you get that big bank challenge. <laughs> That's just a few examples I have of what it, a oh day in the life That's of. That's disgusting. Depends who you ask. An ER doctor. Um, it's exciting. Okay, though. and what animals? What animal do you want to be? I mean, obviously, I'd want to be a gorilla because I still want to use my thumbs and things like that. I've always loved but cheetahs. So, oh, do I would we still have to. the mindset of like humans? I hope so. Oh, oh, we're just an animal. Then it doesn't matter. <laughs> I feel like we still got the mindset. Oh, okay. okay. If we have um, the mindset, then I'm going gorilla. Like, thumbs are would, a big deal for it me. It would be smart to be an ape. So yeah, like, well, it's taken. So, well, I'd still, I, I'd want to be a cheetah. I love. Jared's like, I'm gonna go run over there pretty fast. I think I'd want to be like a bird, some form pigeon, like an eagle. I'm a bird. Ah, oh, cool, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen so that I can video? Just fly. Yeah, we oh, we picked up on the bird thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the top. Top dog of the sky. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what animals would we be? I don't like the way you guys are looking at me. <laughs> what what, what, what do you like think? I would? No, you'd be happy about this. A pug. That's what I was going to say. You would definitely be a, be a pug. I was you literally going to say. You seem like you would be a golden retriever. I don't, I don't Why are we going dogs? I think I'd be more of a German shepherd. No, you wouldn't. Oh, I, I, I think I would be. We're going dogs. Because golden retrievers are like happy, like super happy all the time. Mm, but they're very loyal. That's I, what a German shepherd is. Yeah. That's their whole point. I would go with really? the German shepherd. And a husky, yeah. What would I be? Raven. That's What's a raven? What? Did you just ask what a raven? Like, I don't know what it looks like. Oh! I do know what it looks like. Are you f***ing kidding? <laughs> 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 oh, my God!
<laughs> you're mad at me, but you didn't know what a raven was. <laughs> so let's check ourselves. I knew it was a bird, but I couldn't picture it until I pictured it because of the show. Ravens aren't ugly. No, I think they're quite like. They're, for just, they're messengers. No, no, they're not. That's a pigeon. <laughs> quite guys, elegant. What the hell? You guys get to be. She'd be a snake. No. Uh, you guys get to be pugs and German shepherds. Pick a better one for me. You have a snake tattooed on you. That's for Harry Potter. Pick a better one. I want to be something cool. A snake is pretty cool. I think a raven is cool. Have you ever read the Edgar Allan Poe poem? What What is cooler than a raven? Be a Look raven. The- what the hell, guys? Ravens are beautiful. What's the other um, blackbird that's commonly... A crow. A crow. A crow. You're I don't want to be a raven or a crow. <laughs> Pick a better animal. We said snake. I don't want to be a raven or a crow. Wait, look up Black Mamba. Yeah. That'd oh, be that's you. indie. Yeah, yeah. That's a hundred percent indie. <laughs> Dang, that thing looks kind of cool. <laughs> how big do they get? <laughs> like, a, like she's gonna turn into one. <laughs> kind of. How big do they get? Their maximum speed is ten miles an hour. Three meters. What's that? Nine feet. It's mm, decent size. Kind of. I'm okay with that. I guess, but like, I wanted to be a dog. What kind of dog do you think you'd be? Crusty little white one. Are you serious? <laughs> she <got> so offended. <laughs> um, what dog do you think she'd be, Jared? Something I could drop kick about 30 yards. <laughs> oh, like a chihuahua? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, here she comes. I'm getting the bottle thrown at me this time. You did. Oh, Ooh. she's getting closer. She, did, she didn't hit the ceiling. That- I was going to get scared that I'm going to like ruin a light or a camera. So. I know. It's kind of scary, right? What's something? What's a dog that's like? Like thinks it's big and bad, but it's not. Dog <laughs> breeds. <laughs> 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 corgi? Jared would be a corgi. <laughs> no, I'd definitely be a, be a pug. pug. He'd be a corgi too, though. Look at him. Like, what about Rottweiler? But I feel like Rottweilers are actually well, no, she can be a little cutthroat. Rottweiler is a good one. There's definitely this side of Indy. <laughs> like the happy smiley. But then there's also She's had a couple she's had a good string of like happy smiley days recently. I've been proud of her. <laughs> but then but then there's then there's also this. <laughs> yeah. Not something to celebrate. Yeah. I'm a Rottweiler. You guys want to do the memes? I think this is funny. Obviously, we shut down anybody that ever has shipped us, you know? Yeah. Um, and I mean, we're not helping with the jokes that we've been making recently. But yeah. Not jokes. And then it says, someone said, me when I fi- found out that Indiana and Jared aren't dating. Y'all were actually disappointed? I That's crazy. I've never been happier that to not date somebody. Actually, we I sent you a TikTok the other day and it said if this person message any guy you know asking them if they're down to like hook up and if they say yes, you lose a billion dollars. Or if they say no, you win a billion dollars. And I sent this to Jared. I said, just so you know, like I'm that person if like you need a text and be like, Are you down? Like you were, you're gonna You wouldn't send it to me? That uh, well it's very obvious that India, I would never. Yes. I'm not just some horn dog over here, Jared. So I literally, t- I messaged Jared. I said, if this ever, if, if the shoe's on the other foot, just know I'm the girl you need to text. Jared, do not text me that. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of comforting to have it that, It is comforting honestly. to know that, like, if I'm ever in that position, I can message you and you be like. Hey, what position did you say he could put you in? <laughs> All right. And then the last one. Um, I just thought this was funny because they actually used a picture from uh, <laughs> one of our podcasts, but it says Jared telling an interesting story. Meanwhile, Indiana and Zach, <laughs> and you guys are literally <laughs> blowing bubbles. <laughs> We're actually busy, Jared. We are extremely busy. I don't know if you know that. Don't be disrespectful. I just thought that was hilarious because like, that's so accurate. Um, but anyway, yeah, it is accurate. That's thank you guys so much for watching. If you stay to the end, DM me on Instagram what you would wish for a genie. No loopholes. Um, Indiana won't be here anymore because we're getting rid of her. Sorry Shut about up. that. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching Dropouts. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if you guys want any guests. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. That's Jerbra Music. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram at Dropouts Pod, and we'll see you guys next week on the podcast. Bye. Bye. Bye, party people. Jared, did you pick up the condoms for later? Oh, sorry. God. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs>